I'm Timothy Beardson, and the book is called Stumbling Giant, The Threats to China's Future. Well, I've lived in Hong Kong for 35 years, and I've been very engaged in, with the opening up of China. Uh, I, the investment bank which I started was the first investment bank to be licensed to operate inside China and we were the only foreign institution on the working party to set up the Shanghai Stock Exchange. So I've been actively involved with China's development since the 1970s, and I take a passionate interest in where China's going, and I'd like China to be successful. I'd like China to develop well through the 21st century. And I wrote this book partly as an opportunity to describe the challenges and to suggest the policy actions which could be taken to make China successful through the century. We're living in a, an interconnected world and global prosperity very much depends on stability and economic success in China. But unfortunately, China faces some very severe challenges to the continuation of its rise. The largest of those challenges is effectively insoluble. It's the demographic challenge, which comes in four aspects. The labor force is reducing and therefore becoming more expensive as a place to manufacture. The society is becoming much more aged. From 100 million over 65s, we're going to have, by 2040, over 300 million over 65s. Thirdly, China has the most wide gender disparity of any society in the world. Over the last 20 years, six boys have been born for every five girls. And this means that there will be, over the next few decades, between 40 and 50 million men who will not have a wife, with implications for crime and for instability. And lastly, by 2020, India will overtake China to become the most populous country in the world. And by 2027, China's population growth will cease. It will start to fall. And there are various estimates on where this is going to go. But the estimates range between, by the end of this century, China falling by a third in population terms to falling by two thirds. And generally, no society in human history has had both a falling population and sustained high economic growth rates. So China has a window of continuing growth before it has real challenges. Those are what I call the insoluble challenges, because those people have been born. Those numbers are there. But China also has some very important soluble challenges. And the argument of my book is that China really needs to address those challenges swiftly while it still has some degree of high growth before this population window closes. So the next 15 to 20 years are vitally important for China. And I urge the current leadership to give strong consideration to renewing reforms, creating deep, radical, and early reforms to China's economy and society.